Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install macOS High Sierra, which is currently the latest version of the macOS, on an unsupported Mac. So for this example right here I'm going to be using a mid-2009 MacBook Pro, which officially is not supported by Apple um, with macOS High Sierra. So you're normally not able to install macOS High Sierra on this Mac, but today we're gonna be talking about this tool called the macOS High Sierra Patcher Tool for unsupported Macs, created and developed by DOS Dude one um, I'm gonna have the link to his website right here as well as his YouTube channel. He does do a, a few different YouTube videos on his channel, so I'll, I'll have that link down below as well if you wanna go check him out. Um, but he has basically uh, developed this tool right here which allows you to install macOS High Sierra as it says, on an unsupported Mac. Um, there are a few machines that are not supported, as he kind of emphasizes right here in this part. Um, so if you have one of those Macs, it's not going to work. Um, it is super simple. All you have to do is go onto his website right here and download the macOS High Sierra Patcher. He has a copy of the uh, tool available for download by clicking on this link right here. Um, one thing you may also want to check out is this known issues right here, and the very first one is unsupported Wi-Fi modules. There are some systems that uh, have a Wi-Fi module that macOS High Sierra does not support. Um, luckily for me, this the, this MacBook has a supported one, but there's a very easy way to check. You just go and uh, open up the system profile or go to Wi-Fi and check the ID right here as he specifies, and make sure it's not one of these. Um, if it is one of these, then the uh, as far as I know, uh, High Sierra will still install, um, but you're, you're just not going to be able to use Wi-Fi, which could be a very big deal if you're using something like a MacBook. Um, so this begs the question, why would you want to do this? Well, for me, it's really just the proof of concept to see if this actually works. This system right here is running El Capitan. It is already very slow. So I can only assume that High Sierra is going to be even slower. So um, I wouldn't really recommend doing this on your daily driver if you're using an older MacBook that isn't supported through, uh, you know, that, that High Sierra does not support. Um, I would recommend staying on the OS that you're on now. Once you have the uh, tool downloaded, you just want to go ahead and minimize Safari right here. And I've got the tool, let me go ahead and get out of Disk Utility for a second here. Um, I've got the tool open right here. So this is the tool. Um, it's super simple to use. If you don't already have High Sierra downloaded, you want to go up here and go into Tools and then download macOS High Sierra. What this will do is download a copy of the official installation um, media from Apple and it will uh, save it to your computer. So you are going to need to have this if you don't already have um, this install macOS High Sierra dot app, which you know you could download from another Mac and bring it onto this one. Um, so once you have that, what you want to do is go in here, and you want to uh, first of all click on this button right here, and it's going to open up a window, and you want to click on that install macOS High Sierra dot app. So click on that and hit open, and it will uh, you know let you know if it's verified the installation media. So if it's not macOS High Sierra, it's going to say failed here, but you know this one was verified because it is. Um, next, you want to pick which volume that you want to install it to. Now, just to kind of clarify here, this is not going to install macOS High Sierra on the hard drive. This is actually going to install the setup utility onto a or onto you know whatever partition that you choose here and then you're going to boot into that and then install macOS high sierra through the installer so there's a lot of like installing going on here but you want to make sure that you're not installing this to um, the hard drive that you want to install high sierra on so for me i've got the macOS high sierra hd basically what i did is i went into disk utility here and i partitioned my drive so i've got my one main drive which has el capitan on it then i created one just specifically for this video for high I see her right here. It's about 25 gigs in size. And then on top of that, I also created a install partition. And this is, I have it around uh, 9 gigs in size. Uh, um, DOS Dude 1 recommends 8 uh, gigabytes is the minimum that you need. Um, but I, I made this 9 gigs just to be safe. And this right here is just the installation media. So when I reboot this, I want to boot into this install uh, you know, partition, and then it's going to allow me to install macOS High Sierra. So that's kind of, um, you know, something that I, I guess could get confusing for some people, but I just wanted to really clarify that. So to get all this set up, all you have to do is go up to your main hard drive, the actual device, and just click on partition and set all that up in here. So 
Um, DOS Dude One on his uh, on his website does recommend that you use a USB flash drive, so you can go that way if you want to. But to just make it a little bit easier for me, I just created that second or that third partition, which I'm just going to delete and merge with the High Sierra partition when I um, finish installing it. So if all this made sense, I know this can definitely get a, a little bit you know confusing to somebody who. Um, doesn't really know about all this stuff, but I'm trying to make this as simple as possible because it really is. It's a really simple process. Um, so what you want to do is, uh, again, choose that installation partition. So I'm going to choose my install drive and click on start operation. I'm not going to go ahead and do this because I've already actually done this. So the install drive right here, if I go ahead and open this up, already has all of the um, setup files on it. Once you finish with it, what, what you want to do is um, close out of the high Sierra patcher and then go up here and go to restart and you're gonna go ahead and restart your Mac and as your Mac is uh, booting back up you want to make sure that you press and hold the option key so that it will bring up this menu right here and this is going to allow you to choose from a list of bootable partitions that you have so what I'm gonna do is go over to the install partition and press enter or return and now this is going to boot into the patched Mac OS high Sierra installer and once we do that, uh, we're just going to go through the regular Mac OS High Sierra setup process. All right, so we are back. Uh, the machine has just finished booting up into the Mac OS High Sierra installer. And for the most part, it looks exactly like the regular High Sierra installer, although there is this little uh, utilities shortcut menu here. We're just going to go ahead and focus on this middle screen and just cl click on continue to install Mac OS and click on continue to uh, accept the license agreement. Going to agree to that. And I already have this, uh, you know, drive partitioned and set up for high here. But if you didn't, you would just want to go into the disk utility and you would want to just basically go through and partition your drive, uh, format it with Mac OS extended journal, as you see, I have right here, just, you know, make sure that it is um, all set up to go. I don't have uh, anything on this partition. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of disk utility go and uh, you know choose the high sierra hd and click on continue and there we go it is going to go ahead and install on the high sierra hard drive that i have made so that's pretty much all there is to it from here on out it's pretty much just like a regular high sierra installation there's nothing special to it here um but i'm going to go ahead and just let this install and i'm going to pause the video and come back once uh, that high here has fully installed and we're going to you know take a look at it running on my macbook pro here so i'll be right back all right so we are back and mac os high sierra has just finished installing and when you reboot the machine you're going to get presented with this symbol right here which usually means that something on the system has been corrupted and it just went ahead and shut itself down but basically this leads us to the next step and what we have to do now so what you want to do is go ahead and turn on your computer again and as it's booting up hold down the option key and what you want to do is actually boot back into the installer. So you want to go back over to your install drive. And I'm going to go ahead and boot back into this. All right, so here we are back in the Mac OS High Sierra installer. And what you want to do now is obviously not go through the installer again. But you want to go down to the utilities menu and open up the Mac OS post install. Um, so it's going to go ahead and double click on that. And this is basically going to uh, apply some patches to um the installed you know drive that you already installed mac os high sierra 2 it's going to uh, apply some patches to that that will allow you to boot into high sierra so what you want to do is uh, select your max model number from this list right here if you don't know it it's very conveniently displayed uh right here so mine is macbook pro 5 comma 5 so what, what i'm going to do is just go in this model list and select macbook pro 5 comma 5 and it's going to um, automatically um, add some suggested patches. You can add some more of these if you want to, but I'm not going to really bother with that. I'm just going to uh, set it at its default options as this should work perfectly fine. And uh, I'm going to go ahead down here and it was going to ask you to select the volume. I'm going to go ahead and select High Sierra HD as that is the drive that I installed High Sierra onto. And all you have to do is click on patch. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now it's going to apply the patches. You can see it was super quick and it says complete. And now we're going to go ahead and click on reboot. And there we go. We have successfully booted into Mac OS High Sierra. So it's already come up with this patch updater right here, which looks very interesting. Apparently this is a, um, yeah, patching update utility with the Mac OS High Sierra patcher. 
um, copyright by DOS Dude One. So this is also a tool that you know he has made, I guess, to um, easily update all of these system patches for you to actually be able to use the system. So there is one uh, night shift patch that I'll just go ahead and install later, but we'll go ahead and minimize that right now, and we'll go ahead and go to uh, about this Mac, and you can see totally right when it comes up. I I assume that it's going to say mid uh, mid two thousand nine MacBook. Yeah, MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2009, so it does not uh, try to like falsify that at all. But that is pretty much it for this video. That is how to install macOS High Sierra on an unsupported Mac. Again, guys, be sure to go and check out DOS Dude's One's uh, website and his YouTube channel. I'll have links down below if you want to go and check them out. Um, he also has made some other macOS patching tools. He did one for macOS Sierra as well. Um, so be sure to go and uh, you know check him out if you want to learn more about that. But um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you out, definitely sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the near future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.